Hello, old guys. I'm back. First, I want to thank everybody on the Never Was Message Forum on Facebook for your interest in this project. It embiggens my soul that so many people want to do some freestyle, so that's awesome. Um, and I'm back out here tonight in beautiful Richardson, Texas at my spot at the Public Library to film a few things, including Walk the Dog. Um, so a few things about Walk the Dog I think you should know. One of the guys on the message board on Facebook said uh, that he tried some Walk the Dog and some Endovers and it's harder than it looks. I have gnats here. Um, yes, it is harder than it looks, at least at first. Um, so we'll try to get through a couple of issues that could cause you some grief. Um, my friend Tony Gale, again, is doing his website, freestyletricktips.com. It is vastly superior to my website because he is a vastly superior skater and he's also very smart and he's really breaking these things down. What I want to do is um, add to that and I, I'm hoping that the fact that I'm a middle-aged man might speak to some of you guys um, and uh, you know just show you that you can get out and do this stuff and get better. So um, all that being said, walk the dog. I'm gonna do a few and then I'm gonna come back and talk about it, okay? I tried to go too fast. Let's see if this will work. Bird's eye view. Too hard. All right, again. All right. Um, that was if you walk the dogs for you. Um, what it is. They are back-to-back -back 180 kick turns, but they're done off the nose of the board. And as you can see, what happens is you put your front foot in the middle of the board facing forward like this. Let me see if I can do this on the fly. I guess I can. Okay, here we go. When you are doing this trick, your front foot needs to be about right here and see how it moves the, the trick is the board is going to pivot under your foot so your foot maintains more or less the same position while the board pivots underneath it with the kick turn and you can actually think of it as sort of stepping forward with this foot almost but also keeping it straight so it's like this like that, right? That makes sense? Obviously now I am doing this on a freestyle board tonight. This is my mode double kick. As you can see, I have a big rectangle cut in the grip tape. What is the rectangle for? It is to help me with my walk dog footwork. This is proving to be surprisingly hard to explain, at least articulately. Hopefully the videos will, will be pretty Instructional. So, um, one thing to, to watch out for with this is um, it looks easy. Um, that position that you're in with your front foot in the middle of the board facing forward is a weird position for most people. And when you shift your weight to do the step or you're trying to do the kick turn part of the walk, there may be a tendency for the board to go flying out from under you and for you to go flying into the air into a horizontal position and then fall to the ground. I've seen this happen. A buddy of mine met me at a skate park one night and he really wanted to, uh, to learn some freestyle. So 
we got up there and he wanted to learn to walk the dog and I showed him how to do it and um, within about two minutes he had just absolutely piled. It was a hard fall. forgot um, so I, I just filmed some walk the dogs on the nine inch wide fickle knucklehead um, I wanted to make sure you guys saw me doing this on a big street board it can be done it's a little bit slower and clunkier on a big board but you can do it there's no reason not to um, so yeah um, it is a little harder without the grip tape hole cut um, and I'm going to avoid doing that because I don't like to ruin my shoes. But uh, yeah, why, you know, why not? 